welcome back to my channel i'm going to show you how i made this skirt so the owner of this skirt her waist is 23 inches and length is 22 and then for the skirt i measured 21 inches and then i made it two yards long i cut the waistband it was 25 inches long and four inches wide i also went ahead to cut the suspender belt so i cut a pair at 25 inches by three inches I'll just play in the filters there. Let's jump straight into the tutorial for today. This is the fabric we're using, as you can see. So we need a lining and we also need a baby net. It's also called a carpet net. We're going to use it to make the skirt firm. This is the band of the skirt. It's 25 inches long and 4 inches wide. So what I did here is to fold this in a little bit by like half an inch and fold it in on this other side as well. As I folded it in, I ironed it flat to give us that folded um, feel. So I folded it into two equal halves again and covered it up and then I ironed it flat. So that's how I achieved this particular band you're seeing right here. And then I picked my already gathered fabric. This is the fabric that was 21 inches by 2 yards. So what I'm going to be doing now is that I'm going to pick this baby net and put it on top of this. And then I'll pick the lining as well and also put it on top. I'm going to be sewing all of them together to the back of the fabric so i'm going to be attaching this to the back i'll attach it and i'll come back now basically what i did was that i gathered both of them and added it together so i've done that here right now and this is what it's looking like so it's the um net is in middle while the lining is at the back and the fabric is in front please make sure you did this be at the back of the fabric so this is what I have. I would now go ahead to attach the band to the skirt. Kindly pay attention to what I'm going to be doing here. I'll open it up like this. Haven't opened it because we all know that this skirt is supposed to enter into this band. So I'll open it up like this and then I'll flip it this way. So watch again. I noticed you didn't see what I did. So I turned it um, with the back facing the flat surface and i'll just put this skirt on top of it like this and then i'll open it up that folded um half an inch i'll just open it up and then attach the skirt to that line so that's what i'm going to be doing right now i'll go and do that on the sewing machine and i'll come back and show you what i've done so this is it so i did that and this is what we have so by the time i do this and bring it down I'll attach it together. I hope you get it. So this is what the back looks like after I attached it. But I forgot to attach the suspender belt to it. So what I do is I'll just open it up a little bit and attach the belt. So I've opened it right there. I'll just stick the belt through it and sew it back. Now you don't have to do this. You can just attach the belt straight up. Because if you actually do this, it means that you have a perfect measurement before you do that. And sometimes... It could the positioning could may not be accurate so you have to take it out and do it again but yeah i decided to attach mine straight up so um that's about it so i'll just put it right in there put the second one right here and then i'll go back to the sewing machine to sew it back when i've done it i'll show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like after I attached it. So you have the belt this way sticking out like this. Next thing I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to bring this down like this. And I'm going to be um, sewing it down together. So I'm going to sew a machine now to sew it down from the beginning to the end. And I also fixed the zip before coming back. Um, I kind of lost the clip on how I fixed the zip. But the zip is pretty straightforward. Haven't done that what i have the next thing i'm going to be doing is to mm. arrange the suspenders in such a way that it's pinnable in front now the reason i didn't just attach it straight up is mm. the owner may want to adjust it to a certain length so she may want her skirt maybe on her waistline or her navel line or just under the balls or just down the waist however she wants it to be it's adjustable so i'll just hem this bottom right here as well as the lining and 
I think I'll be done with the outfit. So I've gone ahead to hem it and fix the pin and everything. So this is the kind of pin I fixed right here. Um, it's called the press buttons. Um, that's what they call it around the local market where I fixed it. So I'll just pin it right there and pin it right there. I put three pins um, on the roll of the suspenders while I put one on the band of the skirt. So I can adjust the pins however I want it to be. I went ahead and the bottom of the skirt as well. And voila, this is what we have. So I did that at the bottom right there. And that's that. I think that's all for this skirt. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your suggestion or what you feel like in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel, replicate this style, and let me know that I inspired you to do so.